One way of creating a load system in Unreal Engine 4 is to load in your original base mesh. So this one, as you can see, has got 9,398 triangles and there's no loading system. Now, just now it says there's the chance to make auto loading, but uh, I don't want to do auto load. So I'm going to just check custom here. And then for each load, this is the load import. I can import new loads. So I've already made loads and imported them into, uh, exported them rather, to my my storage folder. And I'm going to source them here. They've not been they've not been imported into Unreal just yet, but I can find them here. So this one's a server box load one. Uh, if I can just find that server box load one. And you can see this is 904 triangles. You can see the point where it switches if I hold down the right mouse button and Alt and pan in and out. So you can get all this detail and then it goes away. But I don't want that to happen so soon. So I'm going to move to a point where I think I want it to happen around right about here. And I can see here the screen size 0.41696. Now I can change this even though it's grayed out here. If I go down to the bottom, and choose auto compute load distances or uncheck this then that's going to let me change this i'm going to change it to 0.4 and now you can see that goes away a little bit later just enough to catch the detail at its finest and then it can go away and then i can go to a point where i want load 2 to be so i'm going to do add so just again, load import, import load level two. This will be server box load two. And I just need to specify when that's going to change. And I think around about point two. And you can see it goes from, you can actually see a visual change here on the side. It just gets rid of that little strip there. So it changes from load zero, the original mesh, to load one. You can see some details disappear, and then it goes and gets rid of these details. It's now down to 149 triangles. I'm going to add one more load. And loads are really simple to make. All you have to do is make your base mesh simpler and rename each mesh and export. So load three. And we've not specified when that's going to come in just yet. So for nine and then run about 0.12, I think. So you can see the change there. I've completely stripped out a lot of the mesh. I can make that even smaller if I wanted. Run about 0.1. So there we go. We got 9,000 down to 900, so, you know, 10%, down to 149, roughly a fraction of that, and then, so once you save that, you go back into your scene, and I'll just put a couple of these in here, and as I zoom in, you can see these will change. Now, you don't have to worry about the fact you can see right through them. There's going to be things inside of these, and they will also be loaded. So the fact that you can see through them from here, it only makes sense for the fact these are going to be little container boxes, and there's going to be little servers inside. So that's how to set up your loading. You can see you don't cluster your, uh, your folder with loads of loads, so it's easier for me at least, to just to go in here and start loading in the LODs that way. There's other options like exporting auger meshes with the right naming convention and it will automatically populate your LODs. But I've not used that yet and I probably could, but I quite like this method of loading them in and making sure everything's okay for each one. Okay, so thanks for watching this video. Catch you in the next one. Bye.